Definitely. I mean, I think that information is power. It's as simple as that. And once I took a moment to, to really uh, get over the shock of having had that kind of life changing operation, a, a nine hour surgery, two colostomy bags, you know, all of the reality of that, it really is a shift in reality. And once I realized, you know, of course, I would be able to drive again and get up on stage and sing again and all those things. Um, I realized, of course, it's like when you come out as gay or you come out as trans or or any of those kind of things that you you do find allies almost immediately because honesty is just it's it's so powerful. Honesty, it, it it turns out, you know, because lying and not facing up to things, it's exhausting. It takes so much energy all the time. And even when I went on the Stephen Nolan show, I hadn't planned to take out my colostomy bags or anything like that. But immediately the next day and and the following weeks, I got letters from people saying, "Oh, you know, my granny or my son even um, has had a colostomy bag for years. We've never been able to speak about it." And suddenly, you did that on the TV, and then we had a, we were able to actually have a conversation saying, "My." God, look at that fella, that singer fella got his colostomy bag out and he's only young relatively and, and he's living life like that. And, and, and that led on to me actually physically meeting people. I've done public speaking about living with colostomy, living with, you know, post-cancer, living with all of that stuff. What's it like to go through chemo and, you know, your hair being all wrecked and everything and then suddenly it's all growing back again. I'm a very lucky man. Um, so yes, I think that ultimately, if one thing I've learned from a person growing up in Northern Ireland is that secrets are not helpful.